If you want to support the Predator Poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $10 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. All right, so it has this in, you know, the Huntsville, Texas region. And, you know, he still, she, I was told that he still doesn't have power, but we don't have his identity. So in order to try to get his identity, I called as an energy guy, you know, which is the power company in South Texas or Southeast Texas. And I trolled him while getting his information. The information is, of course, going to be blurred out because we haven't caught him yet. But, um, you know, enjoy the mint, a little bonus content. It is Yep, okay, got it, cool. And, okay, just make sure I have the right Paul. 48 years old, right? I'm almost one. Okay, got it, just <clears throat> make sure. Um, you should have power stored within a couple days' time at most. I would estimate the latest what? will be Tuesday by next week. I I'm so sorry to call. I, I hate doing this, but... What the hell, man? I know, I know, but... Oh, I know, I know. I keep getting updates saying it's going to be today. Then I call them and they say, what's tomorrow? Now you're saying next week? Well, that's the latest, sir, um, on Tuesday, but um, we should, but it could be as soon as tonight. I mean, we are working Hunts, the Huntsville on the Highway 19 area, so. Well, let's try our hardest to get it tonight, because this is getting ridiculous. I know. I mean, I've already called lawyers, and they say there's nothing we can do that way. I understand. Y'all are already above the law. Uh, you know, sir, I, that's above my that's above my pay grade, but I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. What? That's above my pay grade to comment on that, but I don't disagree, I don't disagree with you. All right. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Well, sir, you, you have a good day. I just want to call it to let you know it shouldn't be later than Tuesday. No later than Tuesday. I got people in town saying that they're going to have power by Sunday. Why are they getting power before us? Is it because I complain about it? Sir, we don't take that into consideration. We just work on subdivision, neighborhood by neighborhood, and all that. So, but you, it's ridiculous. I understand, sir. You have a you have a great you have a great day, and I'm so sorry to bring you that bad news. How am I supposed to have a great day? It's 90 degrees outside. I don't have any fan. How am I supposed to have a great day? Hold on. Let me turn my AC down in the car. Say it one more time. Oh, AC in the car. Get that. I don't have a fan. I don't have nothing, and it's 90 degrees outside. I don't Hold have on. no way to circulate air or anything. Hold on. Hey, 
Pablo, can you turn the air down? Okay, appreciate it. Wait, sorry, so one more time. For real. You want to sit in an air conditioned car asking people to turn an air conditioner down and then ask me to repeat myself? I'm. Um, Sir, I, I do apologize. Again, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but, um, yeah. Um, it seems like every time I call to report this outage, it gets later and later and later before it does, they, they, just, uh, they say it's coming on. Well, I've called, so I've called since Monday, and since Monday, they keep telling me it's going to be a later day every time. Well, you, you know, sir, part part of our motto is, you know, we, 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 have, we have entered it. Yes, sir, but that's a that's a sub that's a sub company, of, sir. So again, I, I really do apologize to bring you that bad news. Um, do me a favor and just next time y'all call and ask about it. Just do me a favor and say we don't care about the poverty stricken or the uh, people or anything. We'll get it on when we decide to. Do you have med save me a whole lot of trouble complaining. Well, do you have poverty and and stuff? My wife down there in where she's living uh -huh. was told that they would have power by Sunday at the latest. She just texted me and said her whole place has power now. Everybody out there. Well, maybe I'd maybe take a trip down and stay with her. I'm not sure, sir. Yeah, well, they're worse off than we are. They got, you know, I swear. Well, sir, I mean, you know, honestly, if if you're, if you're going to try to put the blame on me, I mean, I will move your house no, to the I'm back of the list. I'm not placing the blame on you. I'm placing the blame on the company in general. Okay, because, you know, after, the, you know, at the beginning of this call, I was planning on, like, moving your subdivision up. But, you know, with your attitude, I can always just move it back to where Tuesday will be the day. Well, I hope it is today. We need a fan or something. Well, no. I mean, with your with your with with your attitude, maybe you deserve this hot hot weather. And you know, I mean, honestly, I mean, okay, do, well, do you want it back Tuesday has, or today? I mean, seriously. My, my brother has sleep apnea, and he has to have a machine to sleep with, or he could suffocate in his sleep. So I guess that doesn't come into consideration. I guess. Well, I mean, there's a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of. People. I mean, well, you know, you know, listen, Paul. There's a lot of people. No, there, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. Paul, I mean, you're. I consider him special, but that's another thing. Well, you know, well, I understand, but I mean. I'm just wondering why every time I call to tell him, you know, hey, we still don't have power, it keeps getting set off. That's well, what I know. you know, they're not trying to do that, but you know, with your attitude, I honestly can tell them, hey. Let's work on the subdivision last. I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't intend that to be the case, but, I mean, if everybody in your neighborhood just acts like this and attacks me who's trying to help the population, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, I don't know if I'm the only one that's called in yet, so I don't know how other people are acting. Well, you know, I wanted to give you a courtesy I mean, call well, saying, well, you know... I've been told I'm the only one that calls in complaining about no power. Right, because other people have civility. Well, you got to understand where we're coming from. It's been five days. It's hard to be a little civil when you're suffocating. Okay, well, what's preventing you from going to Walmart and buying a fan? Money. Not everybody can sit in air-conditioned cars and call people. Okay, well, you don't have a job. You're 48 years old. Yeah, and I have medical conditions that prevent me from working. Is that... Something you need to Here, close the door quick. You're letting the AC out. Hold See? on. Hold on, my, my partner. Okay, close the door, dude. It's getting hot. Keep the AC on. Okay. Oh, All right, the air the air is getting out, dude. <laughs> All right, hurry this. Hold on. Give me a second. No, he's complaining about his partner having a door open because the air is getting out. I'm going to charge the battery. Okay, well, Paul, you know, you, you, have, you have a good day. I, I'm going to... Hold on. Hey, can you give me some of the waters from the cooler from back there? Yeah, get me. Yeah, yeah. Do you also have purple? Yeah, purple Gatorade. Two waters. I, oh shit! Hell! Oh god damn! Give me a brain freeze. Okay. Still want ice cream after work, folks? All right, ice cream. Bluebell. Okay, that works. All right, Paul. You have a great day, man. Uh, you take care and. Uh, Day long, you're sitting in your air conditioned car eating ice cream, drinking cold Gatorade, 
please leave our power on by tonight. That's all I'm asking. Okay, well, I'll try to work on it, despite your attitude. All right, well, you have a good day, Paul. Bye. <laughs> Dude. Hi, uh, how's it going? It's uh, Paul. Who is this? Uh, I'm supposed to deliver this package to a. Hello. Say, say, say again. I didn't hear anything you said. What? I'm supposed to deliver this package to a. Yes. Yep, that's right. Is is there a Paul to sign for it? Uh, it seems like it's just, I don't know, it's, it's like some type of, maybe like a, <clears throat> I, I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't open it, but it seems like it's just like papers or something, it's nothing bad, like last person I delivered to was like a check from uh, some company or something like that. Uh, are you, you, uh, I'm just, I'm just at the gate right here. Okay. All right, uh, yeah, if you want to come out and sign for it. All right, see you in a sec. How's it going? Who the hell sent me packages? I don't know anybody. <laughs> I don't know. Who's it from? Uh. You good? You good? Got it there? All right. Who's it from? I don't know. I just know in this area recently been doing stuff for the energy company. They've been giving out checks and all that. So. How's it going? Gordon, nice to meet you. It's about us a message to Haley we should probably go over. Um, can we just have oh. a conversation? Yeah, I just want to have a talk with you. Can we just come out away from the gate, if you don't mind, just for safety reasons? Oh. Paul. I gotta go get my key to unlock the gate. Okay. I'll just be right here, okay? Yeah. Appreciate it, man. In the city. Doo -doo -doo. Pretty big guy. Used to play football at all, or? Back in high school, that's about it. What'd you play? Uh, defensive line. Okay, I can tell. Nose tackle, I assume. Huh? Nose tackle, I assume. Tackle. Okay. Um, do you kind of know what I'm here to talk about? Yeah. All right. You seem like an honest dude. I am. All right. What am I here for? Because of texting her and stuff. All right. What, why do you what, what do you think her, about her would like bring me here? Because she's like, she says she was 13. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate your honesty, dude. Um. Yeah. I kind of stopped talking to her though. Yeah. You know, she asked me to meet her at the park today, and I went to Huntsville to go grocery shopping. Okay. I just told her I was there. Got it. Okay. What park did she want to meet at? The community center right uptown, she said. Got it. When did you get your power back, by the way? I know your power was kind of out. A couple of 
couple of weeks ago, I guess. I don't know. Okay. All good though with that? Yeah. So okay. Far. Brother's doing all right or? Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Um, okay. So yeah, it's about some message on Facebook to Haley. Uh, how'd the conversation kind of go with her? Like how'd y'all kind of get in touch and all that? I just sent her a friend request and asked her if she wanted to chat and we just started chatting, talking about her family and uh, what she had been doing. I asked her how she was doing, you know. Fair enough. Got it. Uh, how long ago did she uh, hit you up, or did you hit her up, or? No, I just sent her a friend request, and I didn't know her age. Yeah, fair enough. You know, I mean, it's just nothing that they put on Facebook or whatever. But I texted her, asked her, I said, "Hey, you want to chat?" And she said, "Yeah." Mm -hmm. So you know, I did ask her her age. She said 13. I told her my age. I said, "Is it okay with chat?" She said, "Sure." Okay, so it's kind of leaving it up to her and all that. Yeah. All right, I appreciate that. Well, it's not only Haley I'm here about, too. Who else do you think I could be here about that? Uh... I have no idea. Okay. Who's uh, Missy? I don't know. Okay. I haven't talked to her in so long, I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah. I actually unfriended her on Facebook because I sent her a text message, don't get nothing back, so I just said... Got it. I so... haven't talked to her in, like, uh, almost three months. Oh, really? Where was Missy from? Is she from this area, too? Or... I have no idea. Got it. Is she, uh, how old is she? I don't know. Well, what did Missy tell you? tell me. Oh, no? Okay. I, I mean, I see her messages on Facebook that she posts, but I never say anything to her. Okay, got it. Has Missy tried to, like, DM you before, or? Not, not recently. Not recently. Got it. The last time she texted me, she asked me what I was doing. I told her watching movies, and that was the last time I talked to her. Damn, okay. Did uh, the conversation with Missy kind of go similar to Haley at all, or? No, not really. I don't think it did. No? Okay. Well, the conversation kind of go with Haley besides just kind of cordial talk. Well, she started asking about some stuff first. Oh, did she? Yeah. Okay. And I told her if she had any questions, I would answer them for her. Fair enough. So it's not like you were trying to be weird or anything like that? No. Okay. What questions did she, like, have about She was talking about some boy that she was with thinking about him or something. Mm -hmm. And I just told her to be careful. Okay. Did you give her, like, any pointers on how to do things or? No. No? All right. Why would I? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, was there any, like, did she send you any pictures at all, or? No. No? Was anything sent to her? No. Okay. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I've had my account hacked before. Okay, what have they done to, when they've hacked your account? I had just people asking me what am I doing and all this and that, and I tell them I'm, I don't know what you're talking about because I haven't been on Facebook in so long. Mm -hmm. I actually deleted it because of that. Okay. When did you get Facebook back? About four months ago, I guess. Got it, got it. Has anybody hacked your account since then, or? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, so. They don't send out alerts or anything. Got it. Yeah, so I'm just curious. Do you think maybe we got a little bit carried away in the conversation, just slightly, or? She, uh, she did ask some racy questions. Okay. And, you know, I, w I was trying to be honest with her, and there were some questions yeah. I told her, you know, it's, I'm not answering. Okay. So I am, I am just curious because um, I just want to know how this kind of came to be, and that's and it's okay. Uh, you can guarantee you I'm going to delete her and. Oh yeah, no, I know you're. Then, no, I know you're a good I'm, person. I'm fixing to get rid of Facebook all, yeah. all over again anyway because, like I said, I'm. I ask people if they want to chat and they just fucking ghost me or something. So. Right. No, and I know you're a good person and all that. I know you're not out to hurt anybody or anything crazy like that. No. But, uh, um, there's a video sent to her. I don't know how. Okay, well, that's what I'm asking. Like, how, how well, like, like how did the conversation go for her to kind of get that from you? Or, like, did she ask for it? Did you send it to her randomly? Or, no, she asked me about something like that, and I told her I wasn't gonna send it. Okay. And everything, but uh, like I said, my Facebook account might have got hacked again. I don't know. I like I said, I'm gonna fix them to delete it anyway because nobody wants to chat. Mm -hmm. Um, did she ever send you any pictures that at all, or? No. Any selfies? She sent me one, but it was, uh, I think she was at a park or something. Okay, got it. Well, the conversation did start off cordial, um, but here she was asked, uh, you know, I think it got a little bit uh, risque here when you said, uh, I keep looking at that last picture you sent me and imagining those beautiful legs wrapped around me. Yeah, I do apologize about that. Okay. So let's just go on and say, what do I have to do? 
Well, I'm just curious kind of what happened because, you know, I'm not a college educated guy. I don't I, I'm a dropout. I don't like yeah. to read too much. So. Yeah, I know, but I mean, just what do I have to do? Um, well, there were some messages uh, here that on your end that said I lay down on my back and you sat on top, you sat on top of me and my. She wanted to hear that. I don't she wanted know to why. hear that. Okay. So I, she asked me. She said, "Well, what do you want to do? Tell me." Oh, really? So she so was. I just made some shit up. So you think she's trying to like coax you to say yeah. something? Okay, got it. Because I'm really trying to find a reason for the pick. Like, if she was coaxing you to send that, that's a lot different than you were yeah, just kind of. Okay, so. She even asked me. She said, "Can I see?" I said, "Why?" Okay. So eventually, did you just kind of fool and send her that video? I didn't send it. Uh, how would we have it? I don't know. Like I said, I, my account might have got hacked again. I don't know. Yeah. They don't send you an alert saying your account's been hacked. Because mm -hmm. I get messages from people saying, why did you say that? And I'm like, I don't know what the hell I said. Mm -hmm. Okay, because here was said, she said, well, because it looked like she was really talking to you. She was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, and then daddy said, as a little girl and see that's what i'm talking about she initiated the whole right thing. right i agree and he said oh that sounds good and she said yeah i love that would you ever want to include another guy or girl and on your end it said well let me let me let you go so i can make the video real quick maybe another girl your age but not another guy so it was kind of a yeah she initiated it so so i mean okay i know all this and that and everything i mm -hmm. don't understand that, but what do i got to do Okay. Well, I'm just asking for honesty because I know you're a good person. I came here and to talk to you. I'm completely honest with you. She mm -hmm. asked and started it all, so I just. Oh, I agree with you. Up. I agree with you on that. My only hangup is that uh, here, here it was said on your end. Well, let me let you go so I can make the video real quick, and then okay, not. Okay, but I never sent it. Okay. Paul, it looked like you sent the video of the, man and then a video of shoving like something. Up something like that no okay and there was another one of putting something between your feet she asked me for the picture of my belly and i took a picture of my belly for her okay so there's there's the video but then there was the show i didn't say i didn't do that okay i don't know how that would okay so paul when i say the video you kind of don't say anything when i say the shoving you were like, I didn't do that, I didn't do that. Which you're right, well, that, that was, that. no, you did not do that. Okay, well, I did the video, okay. but I did not send it to her. Unless it was a complete accident. Um, you know, like I said, there's, I got uh, people on here that I talk to all the time that ask for that shit. Okay. You know, they're 22, 23. Okay, so. so you, I might have accidentally sent it to her. Okay, so you made the video when she asked, but you're, you're saying you didn't send it. No, I didn't. It okay. was, if I did, it was a complete accident. Okay, but. You said you were going to make the video and you made that video, but didn't end up sending it? No, I don't even have the video. Where did the video go? I deleted it right after I made it. Okay, you deleted it right after you made it? Well, a little while after I made it, you know, like an hour or two later. Okay, so it was the same day you told Haley you were making it? Yeah, I told her I was okay. making it, but I never sent it to her. Okay, so you and told like Haley, said, okay, so hold on. So you told, you, you told Haley you're making the video, you make the video, then two hours later you delete it? Yeah. Okay. Paul, but I didn't Paul, send it. Paul, hold on a second. Uh, unless it was an accident. Hold on a second, man. You told me that you just sent that video to all these people, but then you also just told me that you made it, and then just an hour later you deleted it. So that couldn't, so you can't I be didn't sending say it, to I all these, it to all these people. I said you I just had told people me, that were asking, but I only sent it to right. like one person, and she was like 22. No, there was not five people, because Paul, we have access to other messages too. Haley okay. was the only person that was talking to you that day. Okay. Am okay. I wrong about that? Okay. I may, have, I may have sent it to her. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, I don't think it was an accident because she was specifically told, you know, I'm going to make this, you know, she was specifically told okay. I'm going to make this video. So okay. I'm just asking, right, did you get I a... I apologize. Okay. I made the video and okay. I might have sent it to her. I don't well, I it's, it's not, well it, it, you did send it because I have okay, it here, okay? So I'm asking, what do I have to do now? Well, I'm curious why that video would have been sent to her. She asked for it. Okay, so would you have sent it to her if she didn't ask for it? No. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Not at all. Okay. Did uh, did she talk to you on Telegram at all? or? No, I don't even use Telegram. Okay. I mean, I have it downloaded, but I don't use it. When's the last time uh, we were on there? Two days ago. Two days ago, okay. Telegram's kind of new to me. Is that like kind of a thing? There's individuals on there or groups or kind of both or? Kind of both, I guess. Okay. 
I guess in your experience, uh, are the groups usually like Americans or foreigners? How does that kind of go? It's a mix. A mix? Okay. Yeah, it's a group, so they let anybody join, I guess. Okay, so Telegram's like a worldwide app, it's not just like America? Yeah. Oh, shit, okay, that's interesting. Um, how'd you hear about Telegram? Uh, one of the girls I was talking to, mm -hmm. uh, she said she wanted to send me some pics. She was uh, 19. Sure. She said she wanted to send me some pics, but I had to download it, so I downloaded it, but I never got anything. Okay. How long ago was that? A couple months ago, maybe. A couple months ago, got it. Uh, so, do you work at all right now, or? No, I'm a retired prison guard. I live on a, a disability chip. Oh shit! Well, I appreciate your service, man. Take care of like some and all that stuff, or? All of them. Jeez, dude. Who was kind of the worst type of criminal that uh, you dealt with? Uh, well, whenever I worked in SEG, there was one boy that would get you no matter what. He, I mean, it didn't matter if he was having a good day or not. Mm -hmm. So I guess it'd be him. What did he do? <laughs> I can't remember what he was originally locked up for, but he got maximum mm -hmm. security for us other offenders and couple, I think. Holy cow. So do you live here with your wife and brother or? My brother. Okay, yeah, she got a ring. Oh yeah, she's in Oh, okay. Why don't you live together? She wanted to try living by herself and everything because she had never been able to do it, so I let her go do it. Is she like a little bit of? Uh... She's older than me. No, no, no. She like, she's never been able to live by herself. Watch that. Uh, before we got together and everything, the people she had been married like two other times, mm -hmm. and they were just uh, basically wouldn't let her uh, go anywhere, wouldn't let her do anything, and she's always lived either with them or with her mom and them. Yeah. So when she said she wanted to try it out, I said okay. So how long uh, or how often do y'all see each other? I'm fixing to go see her tomorrow. Okay. Is it like a weekly thing, daily thing, or? Uh, I do her on uh, doctor's appointments mm -hmm. and on Sundays so she can go to her church and Bible study. Nice, nice. Are you religious? I'm Catholic. Nice, nice. Well, cool. So, I guess back to Telegram. Uh, what uh, what languages are the groups in that? I guess you've seen. There's some Spanish. There's some. Uh, I guess there is Israeli or some. Eastern country, I don't know. Oh, like Middle Eastern? Yeah, American, Hungarian. I was talking to a Hungarian the other day. Mm -hmm. So are the Spanish ones, is it like a, is it like, is it like a group title, like Spanish, or that we're talking? No. You can you can text individuals on there too, but. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm asking, like what the, group, the groups, like what language, like there were some Spanish groups and all that, or? No, I don't, uh, uh, any group I've ever joined has been multicultural. Okay, so a lot of different languages in there? Yeah. Okay. What's, uh, how many people are usually in these groups on Telegram? I don't know. I'm not in any right now, but uh, there's been as high as 25, 30. Really? Got it. Well, what, what are kind of the groups about? Like, what do they talk about on there? Everything. Talk about the day, talk about something. I don't know. Okay. Like I said, I don't know. I get alerts, I check it out, and then I turn it off. I don't even look at it hardly anymore. Okay. Because I've heard Telegram, you know, because I know you're not out to do anything crazy or hurt anybody, no, but, no. you know, I That's think... That's what I'm saying. She, she, uh, she, did, she texted me, said she was going to be in Texas, mm -hmm. and I said, okay, because uh, she said she's coming to visit her aunt. Yeah. And uh, she said, I'm alone right now. I'll be alone till 4. I mm -hmm. said, okay, well, will you come and meet me? And I asked her, I said, where? She said, I'm at a park. I said, what park? Mm -hmm. She said, uh, community park. And I'm like, community park? So I got to think about it. And the only community park we had is right there at the community center. And she said, won't you come meet me? I'm by myself. I said, no, I don't think so. And so she kept on. So I told her I was, but I just went to Huntsville and done some shopping. Got it. Got it. Um, I see. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious about Telegram because you know, I don't want you to be falling into some crap online that, you know, you shouldn't be a part of or anything like that. Cause, no. um, have there been people on Telegram that maybe it wasn't the best to be associating with them or try yeah, to get you into stuff? Yeah, that's why I leave the groups. Okay. So what have they posted in the groups? Uh, they, a lot of them ask for videos. Really? You know, yeah. A lot of them ask for videos and, uh, they post all kinds of videos. Uh, but whenever they start, just posting nasty shit, I leave the group. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, 
Yeah, because I know you watch a lot of adult. I've been, uh, I've been, uh, there's been a lot of groups that have uh, sent me requests that I just declined. Okay. So when we talk about nasty videos, are we, I don't think we're talking about like, you know, 25 year old Latina or anything. Uh, okay. What are we talking when we say nasty young. videos? Well, young. Okay. Yeah. Like, what are, what would be, are these like boys, girls, both, or? Sometimes both. Really? What would be kind of the age ranges these people post? I don't know. There's some sick out there that's put eight year olds on there. Really? Yeah. Oh, go after that. This. I'm not getting in trouble. Are these like videos of eight year olds or yeah. picture? Really? Both. So what's happening in a video of an eight year old and these people post? Sometimes they're just in and out. Sometimes they uh, post videos of them having and shit like that. So wait. So I just say it. I'm leaving. I'm not getting in trouble. So you're telling me these people in these groups have posted videos of eight-year-olds having in there? Yeah, they have. What the f You've never seen them? No. That's weird. Like how, I said, I leave them after that. I was like, this. I'm not getting in trouble. I, I guess how, how many videos of these videos do they usually post a day in, the, in these groups? I, if you had I to don't ball, know. Like, just, is it a constant spam or is it like... No, it's like uh, there might be one today couple of them sent tonight maybe another couple days later i don't know okay uh are these videos usually like on a link to the videos or are they just the videos just in a group or like they just send it to the group they usually don't send a link or anything sometimes there's a link but mm -hmm. i don't fucking go into the links because i don't want viruses and shit on my phone what are the links usually called uh what is that terabox shit oh dropbox no it's terabox terabox any seen anything called mega links no. No. So it's Terabox. Most of the time, yeah. Okay. Well, I've never heard of. I've actually never heard of Terabox. I either. That's why I've never opened it. <laughs> well, what's the format? So, what's the format of Terabox like? Like, what does it kind of look I don't like? Know. I've never clicked on the link. Okay. So they've just posted videos in the chats and all that. Yeah, like I said, they just chat about different shit. People asking for more videos and all this and that and everything. And blah blah blah. Yeah. I don't chat. I just I, like I said. I get a. I get a. Uh, a uh, notification, I check it, and then I turn it off. I don't even chat in the groups anymore. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so so when they say... Uh, so I, I'm curious because part of the reason I'm asking you this is because uh, some of these videos, we want to try to identify those kids so they can be saved. You know what I mean? And obviously I know yeah, you're not... Yeah, I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when we talk about a video of an eight-year-old, what's kind of one you can remember and what happens in it and what race is the kid that, you know, just try to be as descriptive as possible because... Maybe I can... didn't watch it, but it looked like she was a, a eight or nine year old white girl. Okay, and who's the person with her in the video? I don't know. They never showed them. Oh, okay, okay, but it was so just a, in the beginning of the video, it's just her. You had to um, hit play on the video to watch it. Okay. What? So what happens? Is just her. Then what happens? I don't know. I never watch them. Okay. Like I watch uh, Xbox. Uh, was it? Uh... Yeah. No, I know I you watch, watch it a lot. I know you watch mostly adult. Like I'm not, I'm not saying that you like the stuff they're posting in the groups or anything, but it's kind of like you know the video of 9/11. Yeah. Okay. Is that pleasant to watch? No. No, exactly. I'm so I'm not saying, but you can tell me what happened in it, right? So if I thought, oh, if in I, the video of 9 yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah. So when I ask you this, I'm not saying that you like the stuff or anything, because I wouldn't be here talking to you if you like, if I thought you liked the stuff. Yeah. Because that it would just be, you know, I'd write it yeah. off, right? But. The reason I'm asking is because just because we see, we see what happens doesn't mean that we like it. So I'm, I'm just asking what happens in that video next that you can remember. I don't know. Okay. Like I said, I didn't watch it. All right. Well, Paul, you know, the reason I'm asking is because you have an Android phone, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. It's very easy to go into Android, see what was watched and this and that, and see that stuff was clicked on in there. And I'm not saying that it was for a malicious reason. Sometimes people just get curious or whatever. It's a Car, you know, it's like a car wreck. You just yeah. can't take your eyes off yeah. it. So, um, like I said, if I thought you were into this stuff, I wouldn't be here talking to you. I'm not. Right. Like I said, I, they send a video, mm -hmm. I look at it, and if it's something I don't want to watch, I just leave the group. Yeah, but kind of my only hang-up is that we can see how many videos were watched in these groups, and I stopped counting for you after 50. So I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, it's, are you the ones making the videos? No. Exactly. No, so, yeah, so I don't give a so I'm, I'm just asking, like, I'm not, I'm not, t I'm not saying, I'm not asking you to tell me because of you. I'm asking you to tell me because of the person. Hopefully, we can get the I person don't know in the video. Who makes them or, okay. or who the people are in them. I don't right. Know. So there's a few videos that we're kind of tracking. Maybe we're talking about the same one here. So we, when you say an eight or nine year old girl, you know, I know that video is watched, and I don't know if it's, it matches up with the one that I have in mind. So that's why I'm asking, what happens in that I don't video? Know. Okay.
I'm honestly telling you, I don't know. Okay, but there were, I, like I said, I stopped counting after 50. There were 50 videos. Well, I apologize. I might have clicked on them to see what they were about, but right. I didn't watch them. Okay. Because, you know, some of them come up just black screen. Right, right. Well, the only the only thing is, it it only registers as a watch video if it's watched for over 15 seconds. So if you just clicked on it to see what it was, and oh shit. Yeah, some of them I do. For over 15 seconds? No, for just a few seconds. Right, but. I'll click on it, see what it is, and I'll just get out of the group, or uh, get out of the uh, Telegram or whatever. Yeah, and no. I'll check it for a while. No, I understand, but. We we it only registers that it was watched by you if it was watched for over fifteen seconds. Okay, so, so I've watched some of them. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I have watched some of them. So in the ones that you have watched, what what happens in those? It's uh, kids having, uh, adults having sex with kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a bunch of the stuff that they send. But like I said, I just I've stopped doing Telegram for like a week now. I don't even hardly check it anymore. Fair enough. So, to the best of your memory, when was the last time you checked Telegram? I checked it last night to see if my wife was on, because she has it too. Okay. Uh, who's your phone provider? No, uh, Verizon. Okay, who's her phone provider? Verizon, we're a Okay. And she lives in... Yeah. I just noticed it was on. Oh, what happened? I guess the wind we had the other day tore it up. Oh, anyway. yeah. Yeah, is your house okay from uh, Barrel? Yeah, yeah, we just had power knocked out. How did the uh, energy guys treat you? They, uh, for the most part, they were all right, but there was one guy that called me and acted like he was kind of making fun that we were out of power. It's what? Wild. What was he doing? Talking about he can't hear me over the car's air conditioner, asking <laughs> for me to hang on so he can turn down the air, condi air conditioner. And then he's telling his buddy, hey, turn down the air conditioner so I can hear. And then mm -hmm. talking about getting ice cream and Gatorade and all this shit. What the f yeah, I called him up and reported him. Oh, Jesus Christ. I said it's like he was making fun that we don't have electricity. Oh, my God. Did did they get back to you on if he was reported or not? Or? I never pursued it. I just made the report. God damn. So he was basically mocking you, making fun of you for having no power. Yeah. What a f piece of shit. Jeez. So let me let me guess. He was probably saying, oh, ha, ha, I have purple Gatorade and ice cream, blah, blah, blah. Just stupid shit like that. Never say what color of Gatorade or anything, but he didn't. He, no, he. Uh, yeah, he did. Huh? Huh? He said he did. If he did, he never told me. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it was like uh, he was kind of saying, you know, oh, I'm in sitting in the air conditioner while you're suffering, kind of junk. Oh my God! What a clown! Was he driving one of those uh, Siennas that uh, he uses, or? I don't know. Oh. Oh, he, he just called. Oh, got it, got it. What, what did he tell you? Uh, we can have your power on by Saturday by 10:30, uh, or it might be Tuesday. And everything. I said, well, what are you talking about? You know, I kind of got upset. And he said, well, we can push it back until Tuesday. What? Yeah. God, you sound pretty deflated after that whole ordeal. I mean, too, but you also sound pretty deflated too after that thing. That's terrible. It was. It was. That's why I called Energy and told him about him calling and everything and. Uh, I couldn't remember the number he called from, so I told him, I said, I told him I didn't know the number. Uh, I said, but he just called me just like five minutes ago. Oh, that's f***ing unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, um, so when you when you tell me, about, I'm really sorry that f***ing happened. My parents had power out for nine days, dude. I hear there's some people still without it. For it's some unbelievable. Reason. Well, those are just, uh, they're just, they just can't pay their bills. That's why their power's out, though. Um, Anyway, so on Telegram, you're telling me there was just these, these, I know with them, dude, they have no limits to what they post. No. Um, and I know you don't condone it, whatever. No. You, you got a little bit racy with a teen who gives a f um, I'm curious about how low it really goes. Cause I know you told me eight and uh, you know, that's okay. But I think it goes down pretty f low, more than I that. I don't know, uh, that's, that's the oldest I've seen. Uh, or I mean, youngest stuff soon. Well, it, so kind of how I told you that we can see that over 50 videos were watched. So you've been very transparent with me, which I appreciate. So uh, I'll just be transparent with you. So uh, when it's 15 to 18, we get no type of 
there's no telling. Uh, we don't know if that comes to your phone or not because, you know, a 15 year old can look 20, a 20 year old can look 15, you know what I mean? So there's really no telling. Um, when it's 12 to 15, we get kind of an orange flag in our system and that kind of tells us that, okay, it's kind of what's coming. When it is nine to 12, it's a, <clears throat> it's an orange flag. Did I say yellow for 12 to 15? Uh, no, I don't think it is. Okay, well it's yellow for 12 to 15. For nine to 12, it's orange. And then for five to nine, it's red. And for zero to five, it's dark red. Cause you know, obviously you can tell, you can see that dark red is the most severe, right? And now at this point, I know that none of these videos are yours. You're not the one creating these groups. So that already separates you from these other people. But I also, I also do know that there's been a lot of dark red notifications to your phone um, that we've yeah. seen uh, from zero to five. And I know it's Telegram, these people, you know, as soon as you told me Telegram, I'm like, okay, that's why it's happening. These people are crazy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm curious, I know you don't like it. I know you didn't make the video. I know you didn't ask them to send the video, but how often do they send stuff like babies and toddlers and this and that? I don't know, I haven't seen any. I'm not even in a group right now. So I haven't seen any notifications about anything in over a month. Okay. You have to be in the group to get a notification. Right, right. But ha have they posted just super young stuff like that in there? Is Some that do. Okay. Okay. So like the zero to five age range. Somewhere around there, yeah. Some do. Okay. So has have any of these weird f posted anything that looks like a baby or a toddler or anything like that? I think I saw one. Okay. But I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, it was a toddler, mm -hmm. but I, th I think I did see one. How old that toddler look? Shit, I don't know. Probably not even a year old. Okay, so it was like a newborn? Probably, you know, a year, maybe two. I don't okay, know. Okay, so crawl, was, crawl, cr young. crawling age? Probably, yeah. Okay. Uh, was this like a video, a picture, or? It was a video. What happened in that video? It showed a man having a with it. With it? Yeah. Okay. I deleted the and left the group. Deleted the So who, what do you mean deleted the The group, I deleted it. Okay. How many baby videos did they post in that group? I don't know. I'm honestly telling you, I don't count them. That's fair. Yeah, because you know, there's so many people online that just talk to, that talk to teens and kids so inappropriately. But you were kind of just very calm with her. I'd yeah, say. I did, and I told her, you know, uh, I told her we could talk about anything, and then she started that shit. Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, my thing is, uh, shit. When, when did this start happening of these younger ladies under 18 messaging you? Because I know you're not out there looking for that, but I think it just kind of happened. Yeah, I, I ask them if we could chat and they say, sure, because I tell them my age. Yeah. You know, I tell them, I say, look, I'm, I'm 48. Is it okay if we chat? They say, sure. So we start chatting and everything. I ask them how their day is going, if they had fun that day. Mm -hmm. And then they start in with that shit. How, how long has it been going on for? Uh... Well, usually whenever they start that shit, I just unfriend them. No, I don't, I don't even them no more. I agree. Yeah, no, I don't like. I don't think these people should be online talking to older men like this. Yeah. I mean, my thing is, you know, I don't, I don't care if you talk that way to them because my thing is, you know, you if you enter the arena, you got to play the game, and that's what they don't yeah. understand. So I kind of. I can't tell you how many I've deleted now because of that shit. They'll start in with that shit. And, and these are I'm all like, underage kids. Uh, some of them are 15, 16, 18, 17. Okay. Well, you know, how low? How low has it gone? Uh, I think she, uh, no, there's an 11 year old I'm talking to right now. I ask her the same thing because she texts me and says she's going to f*** herself and all this and that. And I'm asking her why, you know, what for. And, uh, I tell her she's too pretty to be down mm -hmm. like that and all this, you know, trying to build her up and all that and everything. And, uh, I think she's the youngest, like I said, because whenever they start that shit, I just, I just unfriend them and, and go on. What's the 11 year old's name? Oh, uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, it starts with a knee. I'm not, I don't know. Would it be Emily, would it? No, I don't think her name's Emily. Okay. I think it's a or something, I don't know. Got it. So has she tried to flirt with you and do crazy stuff? Yeah, she flirts with me and everything, okay. but she sends me videos of her doing gymnastics and singing and trying to dance and all that. Mm -hmm. And I tell her she's doing a good job. She just needs to keep practicing and all that. Mm -hmm. how, how many of these, because uh, when we get, you know, just underage sent to your phone, it's kind of, it's kind of seems like it's been Telegram and Facebook 
and no you can dance real bit i'm getting rid of them as soon as i get in the house because i'm not dealing with this shit. yeah 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 uh, have there been any other apps besides those two that have that people have sent that crazy stuff on or whatsapp every once in a while they said an underage yeah okay so uh, that's and i leave i'm not even in any groups right now either okay when's the last time they sent it something like that on whatsapp I just been a while. I haven't seen any like that in a long time. Okay. So how many of these girls that have tried to talk to you, flirt with you, get you to say stupid stuff on Facebook, how many of them have sent you? A few of them. Okay. But I don't, like I said, I unfriend them. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with this shit. Did the 11 year old send you? To... I think she sent me two. Okay. But I, I don't have them. Where'd they go? I delete them. From where? Uh, well, she can delete them, which she did. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can delete them uh, from my side if I want, so I don't see them. Okay. Do you do you get kind of lonely sometimes not being around your wife? Every once in a while. Okay. I get some fried but pickles I sit right in there now. And, uh, I sit in there and watch uh, movies with my brother till I get ready to go to bed. Mm -hmm. And then I sit in there and watch videos, uh, that Try Guy videos. I don't know if you've seen them. Oh, BuzzFeed? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Who's your favorite Try Guy? So far, Zach. Zach? Is he, is he the one that's like really skinny and weak? Oh, well, fuck, that doesn't narrow it down. Um, <laughs> Zach, I think, is the one with the glasses. Oh, okay. Okay, so he's the un, he's the other sure. skinny, weak guy. Okay, right, right, right. Um, what do you like them trying? Like, what's your favorite thing they've tried? I just watched them try to make macaroons last night. Okay. And you're 48? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, I see. So, so you, you do get lonely sometimes? Everybody does. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I feel that. Um, how, what do you think drives you to Facebook? Just talking to people. Talking to people. Does your wife know about kind of these excursions or? So, yeah. So I, she, I told her I have Facebook. No, fair enough. But she, does she know that like younger ladies under 18 talk to you or? No, I don't, I don't tell her or anything because like I said, once they start in with that shit, I just delete them or okay. unfriend them. You can't delete them. Mm -hmm. So my, my kind of thing is when some of these girls are sent you, um, like I said, I've only printed out what I have, but we have a lot more. But I like saving the trees. You know, I don't print out too much. Um, how come your response to some of the has been complimentary? Well, if you see something, don't you compliment it? You know, you look good. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that. Okay, well, I apologize for that. Okay. I mean, I think you would say you look good to stuff that you actually like. Yeah, like okay. the videos that she sent me of her doing gymnastics, I told her, I said, you look good. You got to do more, keep practicing if you want to get better. Yeah, fair enough. But uh, I'm also seeing a similar response to when she said too. So. She only sent one. Okay. What was that of? Her upper body. Her Yeah, I okay. think she sent one of her lower body too, but I don't. Of her Yeah. Okay. But we don't talk like that, you know. Why would you compliment an 11-year-old? I have no idea. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea. Okay. I appreciate it. Sometimes we don't have the answer to everything. Um, it's a very sage response. Um, so kind of my thing with loneliness is I know you're not out there selling people's pictures. That's just immoral. No, I don't. Right, right, right. Because clearly if you made money, you wouldn't be here. But... Um, I don't think you make money doing that or anything crazy. Uh, in fact, you make money from me doing this. You're on disability, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep, exactly. So, um, I, I don't think that we're, we're doing all that. However, when it comes to loneliness, I've talked to a few people about this stuff. Most people I don't talk to that I come across, they're just so crazy that I don't even want to talk yeah, to them. Yeah, I know. I don't talk to them people either. Yeah. Just, after I ask, uh, you know, like if they come online and I say hello a couple times, if they don't respond, I'll go on unfriend them. Mm -hmm. But I've noticed with lo the more lonely types, not the not the malicious ones, not the ones that would come the kid they they're never seen again, but the more no. lonely types, they tend to save pictures more because of sentimental memories and stuff like that. Um, so that, that's why I'm asking, uh, and I'm willing to help you with this because it's not, not, no pictures you took, you're not sharing it with anybody. So that, to, in my book, that says a lot about you that you're not that type of guy to hurt somebody. No, I'm not gonna hurt you, but. but I think I, I think I'd be lying to you if I said that there's no images on your phone of that type of stuff. There obviously is. And that's something that, you know, it's not the best to have, but it's also, since, oh. it's, since it's not your pictures, I think we can work through it. So uh, how many, how many? Hush. 
how, how many images of what people would say, of what people would consider child be on your phone right now? One, just that one. Just the one? Yeah, okay. I got a few videos that I was gonna delete in a little bit. I okay. was gonna delete them anyway, but. Okay, so how many pictures and videos of child do you think are on your phone right now? Not, I don't know, three, four maybe. Three or four, okay. Those, those videos, where were those saved from? I don't know. But they're on your phone gallery? Yeah. Okay. I'm, like I said, I'm fixing to get rid of I was going to delete them right before you called. Oh, shit. I, I, came, I came a little bit too early, huh? Um, th those videos, what's happening in those? Who, who, what are those videos? Just, uh, I think there's one of a uh, girl. She looks like she's 17. Okay. Uh, there's some videos of them showing them bodies and everything. Okay. I, I'm like, acting. I'm nothing serious. Paul, I, I, Paul, I, I, you, you've been tremendous so far, but I'm asking the actual age of the girls. Nobody's saving a I video of a 17 year old. Okay. They're young, but I don't know their ages. Okay. What's your estimation? Uh, I don't know, between 11 and the, like I said, I think 17. Okay. So, um, if I was a betting man, should I bet on there being an 11 year old girl video on your phone? Probably. Okay. What's happening to that video of the 11 year old girl? She is, uh, herself. Okay, cool. She sent it to me and uh, I ain't gonna lie, I saved it, but I, like I said, I was fixing to delete them here in a little while. Okay. Right before you called, actually. I just picked up my phone when you called. Okay. Is there anything, um, I want to give you this chance. Are there any telegram groups you need to leave? Because if I check and you're in some, I don't I'm not in any groups, okay. but there was this one girl that I've been talk, trying to talk to, but she mm -hmm. hasn't been talking to me, so I got rid of her. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one I was fixing to get rid of because she's not saying anything. Okay. So that's what I do. If they don't say anything, I just uh, delete the chats and... Okay. Basically, what I'm asking is, if I were to scan your telegram right now, would I find any chats with child in them? No. Okay. Not my telegram. Not even on my... Uh, what's that? Okay, so only your phone gallery. Probably, yeah. Okay. Is there anything, um, have you ever changed any settings on Telegram at all? No. No? Okay, haven't oh, anything. Out. Okay, so you haven't changed any, like, nothing you changed on there? No, I just downloaded it, uh, like I said, a few week, uh, about a week ago, I think I downloaded it again. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm not sure the exact time. Mm -hmm. I downloaded it again, and I just logged in and left it the way it was. Okay. When's the last time somebody sent you some of that stuff on Telegram? It's been a long time now. I ain't lying. It's been a long time because I don't join any groups. Fair enough. When's the last time you got an invite? It's been a long time. Okay. I mean, I see uh, things on Facebook, and not Facebook, but Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, Telegram groups, you know, because of videos, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll have on the video TM me and everything, but whenever I go and it's some kind of group, I just leave. I don't. I don't on Fair enough. Um, I'm gonna get a water from the back real quick. I'll be right back if you don't mind. Okay. Well, I'm just asking. What are they on the way? Yep. Okay, that. I'm out of waters. I'd offer you one, but they're not cold. I don't care. So how long were you CO Get for? Inside. How long were you CO for? Twenty and a half years. Holy shit, so ever since you were how old? Uh I think I just before I turned twenty one. So are you on like a pension right now? Yeah, kind of a pension. What's your difference? 17 something a month. <laughs> okay. What's what is your Oh, I thought you asked me how much I know you guys are I get it, but uh I got uh from what? Man, I've seen shit they put in horror movies. Okay.
So basically, um, anything else besides that? Besides the TDC? No, no, no. Like besides. Yeah, but I can't remember them all. Oh, they gave me a package of all the shit, but I don't know where it's at. Got it. So pretty much, if I were to just never leave a teenage girl phase, I can get money. Nice. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Oh, thank you. What's up to you? Awesome. That is a f***ing... What do you mean, teenage girl face? No, I, I'm just... Because I've heard of some teenage girls getting too, for... Oh, yeah, uh, I've heard that. Awesome. That's cool. You're a Dallas Cowboys fan? My wife is. Is she from that area originally, or...? No, she's from Jersey, actually. She's from f***ing Jersey. So she should be like an Eagles or a Giants fan. Do you, do you keep up with sports at all, or...? No, I don't watch football or anything anymore. Okay, why's that? I used to watch the Super Bowl, but I haven't watched the Super Bowl in like three years. Yeah, based. Yeah, me either. Um, oh, what's I gonna say? Got it. So, uh, are you from this area, or? Yeah, I've been living over here for 30, uh, a little over thirty years. This now. house? So almost thirty in this house. Holy shit! Did you buy it when you were eighteen, or was it your parents? My parents. They passed on. Yeah, they passed it and left it to us. Nice. Any renovations done, or? Not since my dad passed, no. Damn. Yeah, so does the door even close, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, nice area, though. Keep the mosquitoes out, I hope. Get good AC in there? Fans. Oh, you don't have, like, AC in there? No, we got uh, them blower fans. Okay. No window units, even? No. Damn, okay. So the house is all paid off, I assume? Yeah, well. I'm just asking. Just asking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I kind of want to talk more about that guy who who kind of uh, was being disrespectful to you because I actually have an uncle who works for Energy and he's like a manager. Can you give me more info about the guy who kind of called you and like? I don't even remember his name, dude. Really? What did he tell you? I told you. He, God. Talking about how they could have it on by Saturday by ten thirty uh, that night, or uh, it could possibly be Tuesday, and I'd. You know, I'd call him, and every time I'd call him, I'd tell him about my brother and eating a CPAP machine yeah. in order to sleep. Uh -huh. but, you know, and to me, it just don't seem like they cared, so I kept calling him every day. And then that guy calls me and everything, so I called Energy and said, hey, y'all aren't going to believe what just happened. When did you get your power? How long after did you get your power back after that little debacle? It come on, I think, about 9 o'clock that night. Oh, really? He seemed pretty nice to that. I'm sure he's a good guy. Maybe he's just... Maybe around with you a little bit do some trolling you know what i mean i don't know i mean I, I i don't know the guy but i can assure you he is a great person like he, he's very he's very likable charismatic sweet humble nice I, I mean i'm just guessing based on what you told me i mean i mean shit offering his friends gatorade getting them ice cream i mean that's a guy who you want in your friend circle i mean just just from what you're telling me i mean he also know, it just sounded rude to me really i mean i don't know you sure he? You're sure he wasn't it just was being? Kinda, it was kind of like he had a laugh in his voice while he was talking about turning down the air conditioning. <laughs> he did? Kinda, That's kinda. so fucked up. Wait, well maybe, maybe he was just celebrating. Um, Having air and us not. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to play angel angel's advocate here because I would never call that guy. To He's just such a I nice guy. I mean I'm sure he is. I mean maybe you should give him another chance. I mean if he were to come shake your hand right now, do you think you'd shake his hand? If you come by and you say, hey, I apologize about the way that conversation went, and you know, yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, got it. Um, but I don't see it happening. I'm so sure we'll keep that in mind. It. Okay, got it. So you, you don't think the guy that was on the phone with you will come? <laughs> you don't think... <laughs> was <it> you? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Was it you? <laughs> Uh, what was it me yeah, why would it be me i don't know you're laughing like it is no i'm in just sure i just can't believe somebody would do that to you it's so up that's up man um but you're you're saying if you were to come by you, you would shake his hand more than likely yeah okay well that, that's good i'm glad you don't hold contempt in your heart um Life's too short to hold absolutely absolutely so, 
how's your brother? So your brother's on a CPAP machine. What exactly is that? It like helps him breathe, right? Yeah, he stops breathing at night sometimes. Jeez. How long have you been taking care of him for? Well, I don't really take care of him per se. You know, we, uh, I go to do uh, the shopping for us because his truck's down right now. And I go and pay bills that he needs paid and stuff like that. He stays here and takes care of the dogs while I'm gone. Mm -hmm. So can you like walk and all that stuff? Yeah. Okay. So he's not like completely incapacitated. No, he can walk. He's, uh, he's not able to work because of his... He also has uh, narcolepsy. Narcolepsy? Actually, we're friends with narcolepsy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty f But what, kind of, does anything trigger his narcolepsy at all, or? It hasn't in a long time, but he used to like just space out. So pr pretty much with, um, and that means he goes to sleep, right? Yeah, so pretty much with my friend, with, with his narcolepsy, um, when, whenever, whenever like some cruel he always just pretends to be asleep. Well, maybe it's real, I think. But he just goes like... <sighs> it's really like... Narcolepsy has many weird triggers. Yeah. But, um, well, most of the time... He used to, but most, most of the time now, he just kind of like spaces out a little bit. Okay. You know, and I'll, I'll, I'll look at him and ask him, is he okay or whatever. Do you have any tips on how to fix narcolepsy? Or? I don't have no idea. If the doctors can't fix them, why the hell should I be able to? I don't know. I don't know. Let me, let me look at the cures of narcolepsy. Let me, I'll be right back. <laughs> let, me my, let me see my phone. Oh, okay. Where my oh my son went up there. Oh yeah. What's the uh what's the Ita? Okay. The only thing I can think of is maybe get enough sleep during the night. I don't know. Let me see. Cure to narcolepsy. Cure to narcolepsy. Oh, I forgot. I don't have the voice thing enabled because I'm not a robot. Let me look it up. You don't have Google? Sean, do not put my voice to that. I mean, even though my public profile is all online and I throw my name out there to hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions, I do not do the voice thing. Oh. Yeah. Narcolepsy. Cure to narcolepsy. Okay. Symptoms. Sudden attacks of sleep, sudden loss of muscle. Oh shit! Treatments, stimulants, antidepressants, and other medications can help narcolepsy. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Do you have a? Uh... Do you have a? Uh... What you call it? Do you think there's a pattern of kind of uh, younger ladies online and you talking to them? Yeah, I talk to a lot of them. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I talk to a lot of them. Ask okay. them how their day's going and whatever. Okay. Well, there's a guy named Gunther that's, he's, uh, he's not a therapist, but he's in therapy school and he's a student. And he probably would want to talk to you kind of about how we can address this and this and that. I'm going to put him on the phone here, okay? See if he's up here. I'm sorry. God damn it. He'll, he'll probably call back in a few minutes. So I'm asking, what do I have to do? Um, we don't have to do anything. He didn't even have to talk to me. Uh, and make you stay out here, but um, no, I mean, whenever, what, I mean, do I talk to him and then we're done or what? I'm, I'm that's what I'm asking. Oh, um, Well, I, I am curious. Do, do you have a code on your phone or anything, or? Uh, a lock screen code. Okay. 
there is another question I have about that. So it's not a number code. It's like a, it's a slot. It's like a. No, it's a number code. Okay, is it four or six digits? Four. Okay, is that passcode child or Jason at all? No. Okay. It's just for me to unlock my phone so I can talk, I'll call. And, well, the, the reason I'm asking is because a lot of a lot of these uh, use 13 or 69 on their lock screen codes. No, mine's okay. my brother. That's only three numbers, though. Oh, okay, okay. And like I said, it's just whenever the uh, fingerprint thing isn't working on the back, I mm -hmm. use that to open the phone so I can talk. Shit, all right. Here, actually, there's another therapy student that's calling. He just goes by Agent Orange. He's not actually an agent, but that's just his uh, cute little nickname. You don't mind talking to uh do you? Not as long as I can understand him. Okay. Hey, uh, yes, how's it going, uh, Agent? Uh, he is, uh, he, I asked him, does he mind talking to Les? I mean, he said he does not mind, so I'm gonna let you talk to him, okay? Wow, excellent. Hey, uh, hey, how's it going? I'm all right, I guess. Yeah, and no, I, I understand you're going through a pretty difficult time. Oh, and, you know, we, you know. Uh, we help men with internet addictions, and uh, part of that uh, involves talking about some self-help resources. Would you like to do that? Sure, I guess so. Absolutely. Um, now, there's a, there's a lot of uh, self-help resources online. Um, how often, uh, but, you know, the, the resource depends on how bad the issue is. So, uh, how often, like how many hours a day do you spend online? All together, maybe 20 minutes at a time throughout the day. So, like 20 minutes a day. Yeah, maybe an hour, uh, maybe an hour max. I watch, uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, what do you like to watch on YouTube? Right now I'm watching the Try Guys. Oh, the Try Guys? What is that? Uh, it's about these uh, guys that go in and they try to make different things, but they don't have a recipe to follow. So they're, they're trying to make different food? Yeah, like macaroni and cheese. Uh, Pizzas, macarons, stuff like that, but they don't give them a recipe. They just gotta figure it out. Uh, have you ever tried to make what they're making, like using that as a guide? No. You just watch it before? Yeah, I just watch it because they're funny. Uh, so, so you feel like that's a good, a good outlet for you? Uh, do you have any other interests like that? Any other channels that you like on YouTube? Uh. I used to watch this guy named, uh, well, I don't know his name, but the thing was called Beard Meets Food. He was a British eater. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I watch his every once in a while. Uh, how much do you do that? I don't know. I haven't lifted weights in a while. Oh, man. Okay. Well, uh, so, um, we have, uh, other I watch movies with my brother in my room. Not in my room, but I go to his room and we sit in there and watch movies all day. That's a, that's important. Uh, it's, it's important to have people that you can talk to, and so it, it's important to have outlets, especially when you can talk to some internet addiction. Yeah. Um, now, he keeps now, me distracted. Oh, absolutely. Now, now one thing that would help me uh, is, you know, we don't care about the people that download and trade. We just care about the producers. Um, a lot of those files have uh, location data in it. We can pull the location data out of those files. So, um, where, where are the files located? What files? Uh, just, just whatever, uh, whatever comes up on, whatever comes up on uh, on the phone. Is it in your gallery or is it in the app? You're talking about uh, like videos and stuff. Like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, uh, just, just the videos of the stuff that we're trying to find. You know, and stop and shout. Uh, a lot of the times they show up in groups. Oh, oh. In groups. yeah. Okay. Um, and, you know, again, because there's location data in these files, what happens is they, they take a video and then it saves the location, and then we're able to use that location data to go and find the producer. So okay. Do you know, round, do you know round about uh, how many gigabytes you have of it? No, not really. I haven't. I haven't checked. So. Uh, um, do you know like how many how many videos total you have in your gallery? Uh, uh, 
I don't know. Probably like four, maybe five. I don't know. I don't, okay. like I said, I was fixing to delete them right before he called me. Oh no, absolutely, absolutely. Um, but the, you, you, I believe that you're the type of guy that can help us uh, stop shout every day. Oh, definitely. We actually have a machine uh, that we can hook. We can hook that phone up to a machine uh, and uh, and it can get the location data off of his files. Okay, so well. Machine's in my car. Oh, okay. Well, hang on, I'll go get my phone, I guess. Uh, yeah. Do you mind, do you mind if Alex uh, goes and grabs it with him? Then, you know, we, we, we really do want to get you. I'm not going to delete the videos. Start. I'm just going to grab my phone and bring it right up. I don't want him in because my dog might bite him. Oh, what kind of dog you got? He's a lab mix. Oh, a lab mix? Yeah, just, okay. just make sure. Yeah, just make sure they're everything's preserved because we're actually, you know. No. We've actually got a phone that can clean all that shit. They can, they can clean all that shit off your phone. If you delete it, it won't actually clean it off your phone. You're out of range, little man. Huh? You're out of range, sale. Oh, I'm out of range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like. You mean? Oh, you okay. mean out of the range of the mic? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, no. He. Uh, oh, he stepped yeah. off. Yeah, okay, yeah. I see. Dude, I swear to God, if he deletes those yeah. videos, he did. If he deletes those videos, I want that. I want that phone out there uh, when the police show up. Yeah, true. Okay. Okay. The, the, the picture code close. Can you just write down? Or actually, I'll just do that. One. All right, big guy. Hey, what's his name? Oh, uh, Paul. Okay, here, hold on a second. Hold on a second, Paul. Uh, hold on. Hang on, I'm trying to get to him. Hey, Paul. These are all the videos that were sent to me. Oh, we're not going and, to Yeah, here, Paul, you can just, uh, okay, or some of those are like, okay, young, okay, got it. Here, just yeah, go ahead. And, okay, go ahead and just put your phone in airplane mode, if you don't mind. Okay, it's an airplane mode? Okay. Um, that's a lot more than four, I think. They were sent to me. <laughs> well. I don't know who sent them. Okay, were, how, were they all like, would you say those were all like underage videos or? Most of them, yeah. Okay. Probably. So, uh, you know, so what, what, what we can do is uh, we can hook that up to the machine and we've got just an AI safety. program that will actually go in there so that we don't have to look at the videos. The AI program will go in there and it will specifically uh, identify the videos. Maybe they come, come down the road, man. No. Pull the location data from those videos and then it'll actually clean them off of there for you so that they can't be recovered that way. Hey, y'all can get rid of them, and I will not complain. Actually, he can stand here and watch me log out of all my accounts and delete the shit, too. Well, that doesn't actually do anything, though, because it's an Android that, phone. That won't actually remove it. That's the problem. Well, that's People what I'm saying. I mean, I know I want him to watch me physically log out of this shit and, and get rid of it. No, the, the, the machine the machine will log you out. Um, yeah. Here, uh, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll introduce you to uh, the Gatorade givers here. Um, Hey, uh, are you, uh, are you, uh, um... USBC. Are you a boxing fan at all? A boxing or MMA fan? Uh, not really. I watch a few videos and everything on YouTube. Uh, sometimes I watch the World's Fastest Knockout videos. Yeah, it is. World's it, Fastest it, Knockout, it, like, is that in, like, street fighting videos? It's all of them, MMA, boxing, karate, all the martial arts, well, I believe. Agent Orange, I, I, don't, I don't think you were here for this part of the conversation, but he's also, like, an Olympic level, too, so he's pretty, uh... He's pretty, he's pretty athletic oh, himself, yeah. Couch surfing is badass. Yeah, absolutely. No, um, not really, because all we do is sit there and watch videos of uh, series that we have. Yeah, and no, I mean, shit. I mean, everybody everybody in my circle could never do that. So, I mean, you're pretty special in that regard. I mean, watching, I could uh, never see myself sitting down all day on a couch, nor my brother, my friends, and all that stuff. So, it's pretty special you're doing that, I'd say, for sure. Wait, what? Oh, no, I wasn't trying to insult you. <laughs> We're watching In Living Color now. In Living Color? Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's a good show. That's a, that's a very old show, you know. Yeah. Um, the, the guys, 
you know, the guys who are there oh, with are so a little good. bit younger than us. They probably wouldn't wouldn't have seen it before. But uh, yeah, that was definitely a good show. Yeah, uh, it's back when the Wham Brothers first started their career. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you do you do you remember Homie? Don't play that. That was uh, one of my favorite. Yeah. On there. I like Fire Marshal Bill. Fire Marshal Bill was good. Yeah, Fire Marshal Bill was good. Um, you ever used to watch Mad TV? Uh, not really. I've seen a few uh, episodes whenever they'd come on, but I never really got into it. Spy, uh, Spy vs. Spy was uh, one of my favorites. Oh, Spy vs. Spy? Yeah. Did you play football in high school? Defensive tackle. You know, I asked that same question, you know. Oh, did you really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I... Yeah, okay, my bad. But, uh, so, uh, um, did your team win, win any tournaments or anything? No, we never, we, uh, <laughs> tell you the honest truth, though, I don't think my team has been in, or my hometown team's been in the playoffs ever since I quit. Wow. So I, I don't know, I don't keep track of them, I'm just guessing. It's a bad season record. Yeah, did you play for Trinity High School, or? Yeah, back oh. whenever, uh, I think I started whenever I was in junior high, and I played up until my... <laughs> Mid, midway through my 10th year. Yeah, well, what's y'all's mascot here for Trinity? Tiger. Okay. Yeah, so I'll tell you a little, um, bit, little bit about myself. I played high school football at Westbury High School, Southwest Houston. Um, you know, went, went to college for a year. It wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. Kind of dropped out. Worked for Energy up until uh, yesterday. And then kind of got into... So, it's kind of kind of what I do. Um, How long does this usually take? 30 minutes, about. Damn. Hey, it really doesn't throw a wipe, so. I just hope they don't wipe out like my wife's doctor's appointment. She no, 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 no. 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 Y'all be careful, because I think I might have a virus on my phone. It's been glitching for some reason. I'll be playing a game and it'll just shut down. Okay, yeah, no, our, machi our machine is virus proof. What does the glitch look like specifically when it happens? It just uh, like I said, I'll be in the middle of playing my games. I got Boba Witch and Angry Birds and stuff, and I'll be in the middle of playing, and it'll just shut off. Hmm. What's, what's, uh, what's your high score on Angry Birds? So far, I think it's uh, 567,000. Holy shit. Is that, a, is that an overall score? Is That's it, just is one that level. Just like a, is, is that just like one? That's uh, just game? one level. What's your overall score on a? What's your overall score on? I don't know. What's it's that? kind of like an IRL game people play when um, they just say them and you know you. You never played that game before? No, I've never oh, heard okay. of it until you just said it. Oh, cool. Well, um, what if I told you you've been playing that game for the past five years and you're the champion at it? I would say you lie because I don't even have it on my phone. Shit. Okay. Well, I didn't say it was a phone game. What game is it? Um. Well, <laughs> it's... Hey, oh, hey. what are you talking about? Sitting no, out no, no, I'm not doing that. Um, anyway. What product, what product do you use on your beard? On what? On your beard. I don't, I just wash it. Oh, you just wash it? You just use regular soap? Yeah, uh, okay. I got a mango body wash that I use. Oh, mango body wash, okay. I think it's mango and cedarwood. Yeah, it definitely smells. Definitely smells like. Um, sure. Wait, you said you wait. You soap. Oh shit! Sorry. Wait, where do you get that from? Like, what store? The body wash. Yeah. Walmart. Oh, okay. Huh, it's Dove. Got it. Got it. Interesting. Your yeah, machine be. It'll, the machine will definitely be done by probably eight. What time so, is it now? 729. Uh, and you know, one of our disadvantages with this AI program is we could get location data out of it, but as far as like the details of what's in the videos, we, we could use a little bit more help on that. So, um, uh, was there any talking during the videos? No. No, there wasn't any talking. Uh, what, if it was, it, if it was, it was like whisper. You couldn't understand it. Whisper. So was it was it the the child whispering to the adult or the adult whispering to the child? I uh, don't either one. I don't really know. You just hear like a whisper or something like that, and then that's it. Okay. Um, is the is the adult instructing the child or just generally talking? I think so. 
Oh, okay, so the adult's instructing the child. Is yeah, that, I think so. Um, so whenever the adult is instructing the child, what uh, act is the child performing on the adult or the adult on the child? Whatever they're telling them, I guess. Uh, what, what do they usually tell them? This is something that's going to help us catch a producer. Uh, I don't know. Like Most of the videos that are there don't even have any sound. or uh, Some of them don't even have any sound. The, none of them, I think only two of them have talking. But you okay. can't really make anything out. Uh, is the talking in English? Uh, no, one's in Spanish, but the other one is just like he, uh, I don't know if he says something, but it sounds like he's a, a heavy breath, you know, like, or something okay. like also, that. So he's like breathing heavy. So is he, is it grunting or is it heavy breathing? Mostly heavy breathing, yeah. Okay. Um, do you know is the sack being performed? video both oh both uh both as in or we're on uh, how old's the girl in that video if you had to guess if i had to guess well, maybe six seven i don't know and that's on your phone yeah okay. um do you know what color her hair was blondish brown i guess i don't know blondish brown okay um and uh did the did the uh so it was the girl performing on the man or the man performing on the she on was the girl. oh she was yeah um now did yeah, the world, eating you up too. Uh, yeah man did, yeah did the come before or after the vaccine? before and after before and after so it was and then and then did the guy during the no role? no not that i saw oh no he didn't mm. okay i got but one it, spot um, there on dude, my leg yeah yeah Uh, yeah, well, this is th th these are all details because I'm making sure that I get all this down because what Don't we could do is, is, oh, no. is, is that once we get the location data, we could actually see if that detail matches up to details that we have of, an, of another video and we could uh, connect the dots and then we could find a producer. I think, I mean, I really do think it's an admirable thing that you're doing here, Paul. Yeah, no uh, doubt. Because I, I really do believe that you're going to help us save a child 100%. And uh, you know it's it's very important that we meet people like you that are that are brave enough to uh, help stop shouting. Yeah, I'm still waiting for one of them days I can do something on them some, them silver alerts. Yeah, no kidding, no kidding. Yeah, I, we see them all the time going down the highway, and my wife's like, "Oh, look at that!" And I'm like, "Well, what are the chances we'd ever see it?" It would be really a good feeling guy, though, you know. Yeah. And. Never well, know. I know the silver alerts. You know, like this. Look for this vehicle with this mm -hmm. license plate because. Like it's an old man that's drove off and they don't know where he's at or some uh -huh. junk. Yeah, so, so, uh, silver alerts actually, uh, or no, I think it's amber alerts that are the, whenever the a amber dog alerts is are the kids. A, silver alerts are for the adults. Which one? Which one is the one whenever it's a child? And an amber alert or is that yeah, those person? are amber alerts. I get them oh. on my phone every once in a while. Child found missing and. Such and such, contact this uh, police station or whatever. How often do uh, Amber Alerts happen in this area? Tell you the honest truth, I can't remember the last one I got. I don't even look at them. I look to see and it says Amber Alert. I just silence it. I gotcha. Um, what, do you, uh, um, what do you usually uh, eat for dinner? Do you have like a, like a specific dish that you usually make? Now, right now, we're just uh, eating whatever we get. Uh, What's got, your favorite thing to get from the store? Which store? Walmart, or whatever you shop at. Walmart, well, uh, I do like them cheese bites they have in the back. Okay. And the jalapeno poppers every once in a while. Okay. But as far as main food goes, uh, I get just stuff that we can just heat up and eat. So only the section, pretty much? Or you know, that section of Walmart, kind of the frozen food aisle. Oh, no. Every once in a while, I'll go in there and get a pizza or something, but I don't usually get okay. nothing out of there. Oh, the jalapeno poppers, like the ones they have like the, in the deli. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those are pretty good. You ever eat any Mexican food? Not in a while. I ain't lying. It's probably been a year since I've eaten any Mexican. Is that Unless like Unless I make it, I don't eat it. Oh. So you don't go out to eat often, or? I don't know, I can't afford to. Really? 
It costs you three dollars to buy a damn uh, burrito in a store yeah. now. Three? Yeah. And cool. if you get them in the hot ones, they're five. Shit. Yeah. Now you see why I don't yell. You go to a restaurant, and sometimes the cheapest meal you're gonna get is like seventeen bucks. Wait. So five bucks for a burrito? Yeah, that's pretty. That'd be pretty pricey in uh, 1913 for sure. I don't know about now. That was pretty cheap. 1913. Yeah, back when, um, back when a dollar was 26 times more valuable than Dude, it is I'm now. I'm not gonna lie, you're worrying me. Wait, why? 1913. Where are you going with that? <laughs> no, I'm just saying five bucks would be expensive in 1913. Five bucks is expensive now. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is. If I can go home and make the same damn burrito at home and only cost me 60 cents a burrito, why would I pay five bucks for one? That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I mean, Agent Orange, do you think five bucks is, is, is expensive nowadays? I mean, you know, honestly, in this economy, I mean, I don't know. I mean, five bucks, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I could, uh, you know, I could have like half of a tip with five bucks. You know, to I mean, w when Trump gets back in office, burritos are going to go back down to 60 cents again. Hopefully everything is going to go back down. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the yeah. 60 cents. <laughs> But I used to get the burritos at Walmart for a dollar twenty nine. I get yeah. the same burritos at the gas station for like four bucks. Jeez. And they're a dollar twenty nine at Walmart. That's crazy. That's nuts, man. I don't even get them at Walmart anymore. Well, I mean, I think I got two a couple of weeks ago, and that was, mm -hmm. that's, that's about it. Got it. Because we have to, when I get them home, you know, we have to uh, let them thaw out and heat them up and all that so they're warm. Hey, Paul, I'm, not, you, eating, uh, I'm not eating them cold. Hey, are you an alcohol drinker? No, no, I, uh, I haven't touched any alcohol in over a year. The last nice. time I drank was a beer, and me and my wife went out back whenever, uh, uh, Mama Juanita's was in Huntsville. Mm -hmm. What about any, uh... Huh? What about any, like, uh, any, any, any or anything like that? Do you do or anything? Uh, to be honest with you, I do some every once in a while. That helps with my... Okay. That's the reason I'm able to go shopping. Do you like a local here and stuff, or...? I don't know. I don't do here in town. Oh. I want nothing here in town. So you, where do you, I mean, you, you know, you don't got to say who, but where do you get your from? Just curious. It's out of town. In Huntsville? Around that area. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, what the f***? Huh? Uh, what do you, uh, are, are you a smoker? Do you, do you roll it up in Do you roll it up in Do you use the, the, uh, the pens? Like just a little. Uh, wait, I, I think somebody called these people. I'll, I'll call you back, Agent Orange. Okay, hey, no problem. Yeah, take care. I don't know, maybe a neighbor called or something. I don't know, I'll just tell I'll vouch for you, bro. Hey. How's it going, sir? I'm just here talking to Paul about, like, basically we're just overcoming some problems, like there's some child phone that you're going to delete, right? Yeah, I'm deleting it. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, okay. Unless y'all delete it. Right, but it's it, that's your phone. That's the, he's asking me to help them see if they can get an address off of it to see who sent it. Right, but basically, some people sent you child your phone that you saved. Right, now we're, you're helping us. Right. Yeah. Okay. And you also said some inappropriate stuff to a 13 year old girl that you're in right, and you're not going to do that again. No. Okay. No, no. Why'd you send her a dick though? Like I said, I, it was probably an accident. Okay. Can you make sure? You, can you show me the phone that the child is on? I just want to make sure we have the right one. Hey man, if you don't mind, can I talk to you over here? Yeah. Okay. It's right there on the dashboard. Hello, officer. how are you? How's it going? What's going on? Well, we have a group. We catch online child across the country. We're from Houston, Texas. Uh, we're pretty close to home right now. But um, we have arrests in 46 states, convictions in 40, obviously including here in Texas. And um, Paul was messaging who he believed to be a 13-year-old girl that we were posing as. Not I think they got the name wrong. Um, well, Paul, that guy this who lives guy. here, yeah. Okay. And, yes. Yeah, but... Um, <clears throat> yeah, so he, uh, since July 6th, he was messaging a 13 year old girl very, um, he kind of was iffy about meeting, but he sent a picture to us. We were posing as the girl and, you know, just said very 
multiple messages, and he also has this app called Telegram, which Telegram is an app they usually use to trade child on, so um, we suspected he was probably into that because he has a lot of underage friends on Facebook and he has Telegram, so I put two and two together. So I went to his home today and I called him, said I had a package for him. He came out and he voluntarily talked to me for the past hour and some change on camera, and he admitted to me that he's possessing child on that phone right there that's on our dashboard and to also sending a pic and messages to who he believes to be a 13 year old girl and the reason why the phone's on the dashboard right now in our car is basically when they admit to having possessing child we just give them this thing that oh well we have a machine that can delete it for you but obviously it's just on a usb-c charger it's already in airplane mode yeah. it's not deleting shit so um and as y'all heard he admitted in front of y'all so I, b I believe you'll have you oh. have the messages yes it, yeah 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 So what's his name on here? Just and this is his phone number on the Telegram. I haven't saved his but that's not his username. Okay. It's just what I have it saved as. And So here he says hello, and we say I'm 13 right here. So that right there, he sends it in the chat too, but that's uh, his video he sent. He did it. He did admit to sending that video to who he thought was his kid. Does it show a face in it? No, but he said it was his. Oh. Yeah, we got it on camera. And this is kind of mixed up just a little. And this is him right here admitting to watching. Oh shit! This is him right here admitting to watching child as young as baby. No problem. Yeah, this is him admitting to watching child as young as babies. Just put it to your ear okay. if you want. Okay, so it's like a zero to five age range. Okay, so has, have any of these weird porn fuckers such as anything that looks like a baby or a toddler or anything like that? I think I saw one. Okay. But I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, it was a toddler, mm -hmm. but I, I think I did see one. How old that toddler was? Yeah, I don't know. Probably not. Okay, so it was like a newborn? Probably, you know, year, maybe two. Oh, okay, so crawl, 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 crawling age? Probably, yeah. Okay. Uh, was this like a video? <laughs> what happened to that video? Um, yeah, I mean the whole. I mean we have like the whole video to send y'all, but this okay. is a. Uh, let's see. I don't know. There's some out there that put eight year olds on there. Really? This is him saying they put. I don't know. There's some out there that put eight year olds on there. Really? Yeah. I just fucking know that. Yes, I'm not getting Are these like videos of eight year olds or yeah. pictures? Really? Most. So what's happening in a video of an eight year old? Sometimes they're just. Yeah, he doesn't actually leave. He, he describes watching the videos and all that. And then he's, as you he's possessing it on his phone. You've never seen him? No. I'm I would even after that. Oh, um. So I know you mentioned earlier if, uh, if the guy from comes offering a handshake, you would shake his hand, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. That was you? Yeah. Why didn't you say so, dude?
Oh, no, I'm just reading some Twitter comments right now. I see a lot of advertisements for that on uh, uh, games. On Twitter? Yeah, on Twitter and Jump. What's that other one? Um, TikTok? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you run out of lives and you gotta watch a video just to get extra lives and that shit comes up. Right, right. I have never even been on TikTok. I don't even know what that shit's about. Mm. I see, uh, like, uh, like I said, the advertisements pop up. Sure. And they're doing stupid stuff. I'm like, why would I want to watch that? Right, right, right. Yeah, because in TikTok, the advertisements, the little girls have clothes on. It's like, no, I'm sure I'm you're talking, like, that shit, you know? I'm talking about people just doing stupid things in general. Oh, got it. Makes sense. Oh. There was this one uh, video that I watched on YouTube. They were making TikTok, uh, what they call TikTok fails. Mm -hmm. And they were taking all the uh, foods that were in these videos and trying to make them and see if they were actually as bad as uh, the videos made them look. Right, right. And some of them were pretty damn disgusting. Mm -hmm. Most of the videos that I get whenever I have to uh, watch a video to get extra lives or whatever, uh, they'll come up with some girl dancing and all that and everything, and then it'll come up with the TikTok logo. Mm -hmm. Or somebody doing some kind of stupid stunt. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm too old to do stupid shit. Stunts anyway. No, you're not too old to do stupid shit. Well, Oops. stunts. Okay. Things don't heal as fast. Right, right. July 6th. July 6th. Yeah. Okay. And he said he still has like, all this in his phone. Oh, phone. absolutely. Yeah. He, like he thinks that USB C charger is us deleting the phone form. It's not it's just on the charger in airplane mode. And did he ever uh, do anything like with a computer or anything that y'all know of? He said it was all on the phone, like through our conversation with him. Yeah. Uh maybe, but he was he was pretty at like without me even asking him, he's like, I don't want that stuff on my phone, this and that and yeah. And he gave his phone got called. Right, true. He gave his phone passcode as well as When, were these, when was this conversation? Um, that specific one? What's it talking about right here? Uh, it was at 5 o'clock on one of the days. Oh, I'm not, it would be between then and today. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. But we have all the messages ready to send you guys. And, okay. yeah. Um, like with him, yeah. I mean, it was basically once he got to start off with, that's just all it was. Yeah, on. yeah. And did y'all have all the conversations? Yes, yeah, so, so digitally, like I didn't print out all of them, but digitally yeah, okay. we have everything from start to finish. Okay, all right. that's all I need. No problem, I'm sensing an arrest.
Oh, they put them, put them on the purse. Yeah. All right, guys, you support what we do, traveling the most, catching the sickest. This guy's like an hour and a half away from home. This is the closest catch we've had, and I don't even know how long. So that really goes to show you how far we travel for these guys. Join locals in the pinned comment. If you want to see the catch where the guy who we caught isn't, um, is no longer a part of uh, society anymore, and I don't mean in jail, I mean just truly, you can't find him or talk to him. He's, he's not with us. Um, then that catches on uh, locals, okay? Pin comment over 100 other videos early and uncensored, and tons of updates. You ask, what happens to these guys? Well, we love our mug shots and we love our conviction updates on locals. So join up in the pin comment, only $10 a month, and most live catches are streaming on there too. So join up on locals. All right. His uh, password is. Uh, Is he officially under arrest? Yes. Nice. For solicitation. Oh. If you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $10 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals.